And we want to bring you live pictures right now out of a chase underway. This started as a death investigation. Seven Sky Force overhead. Ralph Rayburn is there to tell us more. Ralph? Now, there was a shooting, ladies, a little while ago at uh, 95th Street, right off of the I-95 Northwest, uh, would be Northwest 7th Avenue. And uh, they gave a description out of a vehicle. And that vehicle is now being pursued by police here in the area of uh, 64th Street and uh, Northwest 2nd Avenue. You see the vehicle here trying to elude police as it drives erratically. Uh, we're just trying to get our bearings. It's pulled on a, uh, on a back street here. And uh, that, that vehicle that's right in the center of the screen is the one that's being pursued. The, there is an aviation unit there. You see uh, another vehicle giving chase now. That's an undercover car that was involved in that investigation of the shooting that occurred there off of 95th Street and uh, I-95. That again happening maybe 20, 25 minutes ago. The car is now going to be going northbound here on uh, North Miami Avenue. That's North Miami Avenue northbound just crossing 71st Street and then again at a high rate of speed here. We're going uh, northbound there and you can see the vehicle uh, crossing over uh, that center line there going northbound here coming up to another intersection there. That's going to be uh, that was 71st Street there, so I stand corrected. It is going northbound, though, here along uh, in the area, uh, just uh, in the city of Miami. It'll be coming up on the area of El Portel, and then, of course, into Miami Shores. If it continues northbound, it's going to be going over some railroad tracks here and approaching 79th Street. It'll be uh, uh, being pursued by at least one vehicle there. We can hear them on our scanner giving out uh, directions of the chase of this vehicle, pursue, pursuit of this vehicle. Uh, again, what we heard earlier was that there was a shooting. Uh, we confirmed that there was a person who was deceased in a wheelchair along the side of the roadway there, uh, right at 95th Street and uh, r just off of Northwest 7th Avenue. You can see that vehicle now going around traffic here, uh, uh, colliding with an SUV there and bumping, now going to be going eastbound. This is going to be eastbound here on 79th Street, now going uh, is actually 82nd going the wrong way in traffic. That's a one-way street there. This car is uh, trying to elude the police. You can see other vehicles getting out of the way there. It's coming up to another intersection in the Northwest 2nd. There's a police car right there at that corner. It's turned now off of 81st Street, now going southbound. This is going to be Northeast 2nd Avenue, and the vehicle is going to be going right underneath us here. Uh, let's see. You're good, Joe, right? Got chopper off the nose. Stay with us as we continue to follow this police chase that is now about uh, six and a half, seven minutes old here. A silver vehicle here being pursued by police. Uh, the person driving that vehicle believed to be the person wanted by police for a shooting that occurred a short time ago here in the city of Miami. It's crossed those railroad tracks there uh, right in the area of 71st Street and it continues southbound now on uh, Northeast 2nd Avenue at a very high rate of speed. Uh, blowing through uh, stop signs and traffic lights as it continues to try to elude police officers. We're going to bring the camera back out here just a little ways to see where the closest vehicle on the ground is. And it is about, I would say, maybe 300 yards behind. There are other vehicles, police officers behind that vehicle. They are now asking for the assistance of the city of Miami uh, in this pursuit here. And you can see vehicles uh, uh, converging. Now we have turned, the uh, vehicle has turned and gone eastbound here and it looks like that's going to be 64 i believe that's 64 street we'll find out here in a second as they get closer to the railroad tracks but again weaving in and out of traffic now into oncoming traffic so a, a very dangerous situation here it's about time for us to give you our warning when we do cover these police chases that this is a live uh, chase that's going on right now this is unedited video uh, so uh, govern yourselves accordingly I guess is the best way we can put it right there uh, we don't know what's going to happen but uh, again a very dangerous situation here uh, transpiring this on the streets of the city of Miami as this vehicle continues to elude police officers a chase that started uh, now about 10 minutes ago it's uh, paralleling the railroad tracks those are the old FEC railroad tracks there just west of Biscayne Boulevard as we come up towards uh, uh, in the area of Archbishop Curley Senior High School, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be 5-4 Street and is going to be turning westbound there on 54th Street headed back towards I-95. Again, this uh, vehicle and the driver trying to elude police officers, trying to make a traffic stop right now. 
Uh, they have requested an aviation unit from the county. We're looking for them to show up here on the scene. When that happens, they will, of course, take over uh, the, the chase. You can see an SUV there blocking the roadway. That's an unmarked police officer's vehicle. They uh, went around that vehicle and is now getting very close to I-95. Uh, we're going to continue to with our narration of this chase here. If you have any comments or anything, any questions you'd like to ask, I'm going to take a breath here. Ralph, you mentioned that there was a shooting that happened on 95th Street and I-95. Do we know the nature of that shooting? What we what we heard initially was that there was a, they gave a description of, a, uh, let's hang on one second here, ladies. Uh, we're, they're closing in here. They, they, they may have him run out of room here uh, as he turns off of 54th Street and now turns on to 64th Street and is going to be heading West Van. Okay, the police. I'm being told by our pilot Joe Mancino that the police helicopter is uh, here. We're going to be pulling up and going up a couple hundred feet in elevation to get out of everybody's way here. Again, a pursuit in the city of Miami. To answer your question, uh, the nature of it was that uh, someone in in traffic exiting off of I-95 uh, uh, witnessed a shooting there uh, and uh, gave the police a description of a vehicle that fled the area. Uh, several moments later, police responded along with fire rescue. There was a man in a wheelchair, slumped over in a wheelchair, uh, appeared to have a bullet wound to his chest. Uh, they put a tarp over him. He was pronounced dead on the scene. Moments later, uh, undercover officers who were scouring the area uh, identified a vehicle and started to uh, try to pull that vehicle over. That vehicle started uh, fled, and that's the vehicle that you're looking at right now as you watch the two other undercover vehicles uh, in the rear there giving chase. And again, they have turned this now over to the county aviation unit from Miami-Dade flew out of Opelok Airport arriving here within about five minutes of the time this chase started. And uh, that unit, that aviation unit now is indicating to the units on the ground uh, where this vehicle is, where it's headed, and uh, its direction of travel. And right now, as I look out my window, I see we're coming back up on uh, I-95 is going to be going underneath. Oh, no, I turned parallel on I-95 there. That's the feeder road that uh, goes along on the uh, west side of I-95. So this car vehicle is now going northbound in the area of 62nd. I'm going to say it's between 54th Street and 62nd Avenue. It's going, let me, I'll give you a, a, an exact location as I zoom out here. I don't want to lose the vehicle, but I want to give you, okay, it's coming right up to Edison High School there, zooming by, and now we have, an, uh, went right by a Florida Highway Patrol unit. You can see vehicles pulled off the side of the roadway there, and it's going to be going through this intersection here. Very dangerous situation. You see police blocking that intersection as it now gets on, trying to get on I-95 to head northbound on I-95, uh, running out of room there. We've got the wall there, passes the wall, is now merging onto traffic. Uh, again, at a very high rate of speed, uh, cutting around vehicles this is a very, very dangerous situation for uh, uh, obviously the civilians that are unaware that there's even a chase going on. But again, you can, uh, by judging the speed of the other vehicles, you can see exactly how fast this vehicle is going. I'm looking over here. My ground speed indicator says, well, it's not reading it right now, so I can't tell you exactly how fast he's going. But take a look here. This is I-95 northbound. You see the signs there uh, coming up on the 95th Street exit as this vehicle continues to uh, go northbound. All right, if you're just joining us right now and watching these images along with us, Sky Force HD and Ralph Rayburn over this scene. This is a car chase that started out of North Miami after reports of shots fired. Police responded to the scene. They found a man in a wheelchair who was shot dead there in the middle of the street. That's the images that you're seeing on the right side of your screen. There was a vehicle description. The vehicle you see on the left side of your screen was spotted by officers in that area. And then they went on a pursuit of that vehicle, and you're looking at live pictures right now as that car takes off northbound on I-95 near the Golden Glades right about now. And we can tell you that before this image, just minutes ago, in trying to elude police, that vehicle hit another car that we saw there just in our images before that. We don't know of any other accidents or injuries, but we can tell you that this car is linked to at least one death, a shooting death in the city of North Miami at 95th Street and I-95. Seven's Ralph Rayburn has been watching this for us. And Ralph, what can you tell us right now about where exactly this car is? 
Okay, I can tell you, we're just past uh, 103rd Street on the I going northbound. Again, this uh, silver vehicle being pursued by undercover police officers. Those are the units that you see right there. There's a black vehicle that's trailing right behind there. Uh, uh, this all started now, I guess, maybe uh, 12 to 15 minutes ago uh, in the area of 103rd Street. And um, I want to put it at Northeast 2nd Avenue is where we heard this pursuit beginning. And it was in relationship or related to a shooting that had occurred about 15 minutes prior to that at 95th Street, just west of I-95 near Northwest 7th Avenue. We've got police officers here. It's passing vehicles. There's a uh, trooper now also following behind here. There's an aviation unit from the county that's uh, down below us uh, tracking this vehicle. Uh, there was a shooting that we were talking about moments ago at 95th Street, just west of I-95 near Northwest 7th Avenue. Uh, when we pulled up on the scene, there was a tarp that was being placed over the body of a, a man, an adult male, uh, in a wheelchair. There was a blood stain on his shirt. He was pre apparently pronounced dead on the scene before we arrived on the scene. And about uh, five minutes of loitering on that scene, hovering over that scene, when we heard uh, information from our uh, assignment desk that the uh, there was a, they were watching a vehicle and were pursuing a vehicle. Uh, when you guys came to us live, that vehicle had gone from 103rd Street right off of Northeast 3rd Avenue and was already at Biscayne Boulevard, merging from Northeast 6th Avenue southbound onto uh, Biscayne Boulevard, US 1, right in the area of the Publix, which is at uh, 90th Street. So it, uh, it happened, it's all happened very, very quickly. And again, police uh, uh, pursuing this vehicle, the vehicle refusing to stop, uh, a, a possibly dangerous situation, obviously high rates of speed on this roadway, uh, innocent civilians, people just uh, doing their daily commutes. As you can see, the vehicle veering around uh, slower moving traffic. Uh, I would uh, put the speed here uh, in excess of 90 miles an hour. My GPS has clicked in 96 miles an hour right now is what we're showing as the speed of this vehicle as we come up to the Golden Glades interchange here. It looks like that vehicle is going to be going northbound through the Golden Glades interchange here and will be making that uh, northeasterly swing here around as it uh, continues northbound, being pursued by uh, no fewer than three or four police cars behind it, along with a, an aviation unit, a police helicopter that is monitoring the situation from above. You know, Ralph, we've been watching this with you, and it's really, police are in a tough spot right now because once this driver got on I-95, we're kind of past rush hour right now, and has a lot of room to move around and is just getting around those vehicles, but still such a dangerous situation. And we've seen this driver make some dangerous moves, even go against traffic when it was on those side streets. Uh, what is the flow like? I mean, from the picture that we're seeing right now, I-95 is wide open. Yeah, it is. It is at this time as we just finished uh, going through that Golden Glades interchange now coming up towards uh Let's see, that's going to be Miami Gardens Drive and then Ives Dairy Road. So the traffic is uh, uh, not as heavy as it would be uh, during rush hour, but uh, there, there is always that issue of slower traffic. It's an I-95, I'm being told by our pilot, is closed up ahead. They're going to be running just north of Miami Gardens. They're going to be running into a big uh, jam here. So uh, we'll, we're going to, it's, it's, it's going to end here because he's not going to have any place to go, is according to what I'm what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing here. So you can see he's in the breakdown, inner breakdown lane, trying to get by traffic here. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, you can see all that slower traffic right there. Uh, there is road construction. He just banged into the wall there. He's stuck there. Uh, may have stalled the car out. We have police officers getting out of their vehicles now, approaching guns drawn. Uh, yes, there's damage to that front wheel. The driver, uh, passenger side wheel, you can see is bent outward. He's not going any farther. This is a live uh, broadcast of a takedown of, 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 of uh, end of a police chase here. Uh, we want to caution our viewers that uh, anything can happen here, especially with the uh, police officers with gun drawn. They've just gotten a, a civilian out of the vehicle and they're now uh, forcing or getting the uh, someone out of the vehicle. That's the person that they gave a description of in a red shirt. Uh, that subject is now in custody, police custody here on the scene. Uh, Going to put our address uh, just uh, just south of the Velda Farms Tower there, that old uh, water tower that's adjacent to I-95. So it's going to be Miami Gardens Drive, Miami Gardens Drive and I-95 northbound traffic here. You see police officers have taken that subject in custody. They've placed handcuffs on him now. Uh, they're uh, doing a, a pat and frisk there to see if he's uh, carrying any weapons or any items on his person. 
and uh, in a short time, they'll probably put him in the back of a police car. So uh, you can see the officers congratulating one another there. So a narration that's, uh, my narration that's gonna come to an end here. Again, I-95 northbound, uh, just past Miami Gardens Drive on I-95 northbound. A police chase ends after about a 15 to 20, well, I'm gonna say 15 minute pursuit. All right, Ralph Rayburn in Sky Force HD. And if you're just joining us, you're watching the end of a police pursuit that began in North Miami about 15 minutes ago. This after reports of shots fired, at least one person killed and several vehicles there smashed up as a result. No word on any injuries. As you look at these live pictures, that suspect now taken into custody. This ending at Miami Gardens Drive on northbound 95. And what a dangerous situation this was, Diana, to see it come to an end with all of those drivers. They had nowhere to go. They're stuck in the middle of construction on 95. Imagine, you don't know what's happening. All of a sudden, you see some police officers coming out of their vehicles, guns drawn. And you're stuck. You're in the middle of that. And worse, the driver of that Audi just sitting there in traffic slammed from behind by that suspect vehicle on the left side, the shoulder of the roadway there. He slammed into the vehicle, came to a stop. Officers surrounded that car. They had to pull the driver of the Audi out to get him out of harm's way before surrounding that suspect vehicle that you see there in the center of your screen and then getting that driver out. The man fitting this, the description that police had sent out earlier in the day, a man that was involved in a shooting at 95th Street and I-95. The shooting happening there earlier this morning when police responded to shots fired and arrived there on the scene, they found a man in a wheelchair dead on the scene, the suspect's vehicle. This is the scene that we're talking about here. This just west of I-95, Northwest 7th Avenue and 95th Street. They originally responded to that scene, finding that victim right there under that yellow tarp. And then the Bolo went out for the suspect in the vehicle that was just stopped moments ago. You saw it right here live on 7 as that vehicle slammed into the back of an unsuspecting driver when all that traffic came to a stop there northbound on I-95 and then police officers surrounded the vehicle and pulled him out. That driver is now in police custody and what is truly amazing as we watched all of this unfold is that despite going against traffic, having no regard obviously for anyone else's safety, and doing anything that he could to elude police. No one else was hurt in all of this. Uh, it ended again on I-95 northbound at Miami Gardens Drive and what it